Hello. The people of the Cross Church wants to welcome you here on this Sabbath day. I'm Pastor Harvey Smith, and my wife, Pastor Brenda Smith, will be joining us today. We sit under Senior Pastor Michael Scott, and we all want to say how happy that we are that you can join us today for this word of encouragement from the word of our God. We also want to remind you that although we all can't be here physically together today, but, now there's that mighty, mighty word, but, that we read so often in God's word, but we all have gathered here today, spiritually today, to honor our God. So as it says in the Bible, for who... For where two or three are gathered today in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So no matter where you are right now, I want to remind you that God himself is right there with you. And the blessed Holy Spirit too. So I pray that you will allow him to have his way in your life right now. Amen? Praise be to God. Now, like always, before we bring forth the Word of God, we want to honor God by singing some praise and worship songs to our Almighty God. Now, we do have a special guest today for you. It is our great-granddaughter, and she would like to encourage you today with the song that she really likes. Let the song lift your thoughts up to our Lord. Amen? Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the Lord of the way I feel. 
what the old devil is going to do because the only thing we ever fear is God himself. Amen? Give me your hand Let's agree together
here today, Lord. Thank you. You know, our Sabbath day is always a very special day for us, but today is kind of an extra special day because we are not only going to honor our Savior today, but we're also going to honor all the mothers out there on this special day. You know, I wanted to not only honor all the mothers out there today, but all the ladies today, too. I want to honor all the mothers out there and all the ladies who will probably be mothers at some time. So I want to take this time to say I wish all mothers and mothers-to-be a very joyous Mother's Day. Now, I say joyous Mother's Day because having the joy of the Lord is so much better than being happy. Amen? So I'm wishing you a joyous Mother's Day. Praise God. At this time, I would like to play a special video for you mothers. Now, I want everyone to think about this video, but especially you mothers out there. It's how the pastoral staff of the People of the Cross Church feel about all of our mothers today.
so that we can get into the Word of God, I'm going to ask everyone to help me pray right now. Will you? Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you first to ask that you take more of me away so that more of you can exist in me. I ask that you only let me speak your truth, and I ask that you would make your word plain today so that everyone will understand your word and uh, be able to lock it in their hearts so that they could use it on a day-to-day -day basis. I pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, my grandmother uh, passed away when I was kind of young. But, um, you know, there's that mighty but word again. But she was a Christian. So we celebrated her life back then. And we celebrate her life now because we know that she is face to face with our God right now. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God. You know, uh, some of the things I remember about her, I can never remember seeing her wearing a pair of pants. She always wore a dress. Also, she never colored her hair. Her hair was very white or most of it anyway, almost, uh, also she never drove a car. In fact, she never even learned how to drive a car. Now, on the other hand, my daughter, when I see her, she wears pants at least 90% of the time. She stays very comfortable. Now, I'm not going to say anything about her coloring her hair, okay? So, don't even go there. <laughs> now, back when she was a teenager, she was like most teenagers. So, as soon as she uh, was legally able to get her driver license, she got them. But, you know, even with all those social changes that uh, has happened between the generations, it is still the mother that makes a house a home, right? So some of us men can do a little cooking, but the kitchen really belongs to the woman. You know, Proverbs talks about the wonderful works and the wonderful works that women do. Proverbs 31 and 15 says, She rises also while it is yet night, and given meat to her household. In other words, it's the mother who sees that her family gets their nourishment before they start their day. Not only do moms do all the basics for us at home, but they put all their energy into all the special moments like birthdays and graduations and all the other things that moms can make seem so special to us. So moms, remember, when you thought that nobody noticed or appreciated all the things that you do, we did and we do. You know, moms are the first disciples that kids hear and see. The Holy Spirit, I think, can do some of his best work in Christians' homes. My guess is that a lot of people that we meet on Sunday mornings at our church is because they first saw the love of Jesus Christ through their mothers. And because of our mothers, when we were kids, we had our invisible, but not imaginary friend, Jesus Christ. Proverbs 31, 36, 37, 38 says, She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue the laws of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children rises up 
and called her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. You know, many a little children, the last thing they hear before they go to sleep at night is their mother whispering a prayer for them. We need to give uh, to our moms honor. We know I can easily understand how most women, when they read Proverbs chapter 31, they might get a little discouraged, thinking how can they live up to these standards. But maybe, just maybe, God put Proverbs chapter 31 there so that the husbands and the someone's child to read that chapter so that they could see the real character of their mothers and recall all the ways in which their mother did those things for them. Give thanks to God for her and give thanks to your mother. Proverbs 31 and 30 and 31 says, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. In other words, it tells us, you know, charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting. But the woman who fears God is to be praised. Honor her for all her hands have done for you and let her works be her praise everywhere. So do you suppose it was your mother who more than anyone else is responsible for you being a believer? Just think about this. She gave you your first earthly home and she helped you to find our Savior who is going to give you your heavenly home. So let's honor your mothers today and every day. Amen? So your homework for this week is for your husband's and if you had a mother, your homework is to read Proverbs chapter 31. So from the pastoral staff here at the People of the Cross Church, here is wishing all the ladies to have a very joyful Mother's Day. Now, I will close with this. Let's fear your God. Let's fear your Heavenly Father so that we will obey him. Remember, that is the only thing that we are to fear. Amen? So until next time, fear your God.